Hi, thanks for watching and welcome to another Nighttime Nibbles food review. And in this one, I'm having a go on these. Walker's Max Strong Hot Sauce Blaze Crisps. Can you handle the heat? I'm not great with hot stuff, so we'll see. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got a peg on it. No, I've not had a go on, on them already. I've cheese fested some. I've had, a, <laughs> I've had a bit of a disaster with them, but anyway, I've, done, I've cheese fested some, which we'll do at the end. So let's take a look at this. So this is, what's that? Hot sauce blaze flavor potato chips, crisps. So we have got some traffic lights there. Have a look at them. And they are, this is per 30 grams. You've got fat at 8.8 grams. There's a red saturate is 0 0.8 of one gram. That's an amber. Sugars is 0 0.8 of one gram. That's a green. And salt is 0 0.2 of one gram. And that is an amber. New apparently. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Get in the comments, let me know. Suitable for vegetarians. No artificial preservatives. No added MSG. No added MSG. See, they're careful how they say things. So there is MSG in there then. No artificial colours. Right, Walker's Max Strong, the ir irresistible deep ridged crisp, which is why I want to do the cheese fest. I wanted to do some on deep ridged. Packed with bold flavour, perfect with beer. Enjoy the ultimate taste experience in every bite. Max Spice, Max Satisfaction. Right, um, allergens. What? Allergy advice may contain milk, wheat, gluten, barley, soya, celery, and mustard. May contain. But there aren't any allergens in bold in the ingredients, which is, you'd think in a product like this, you'd think there'd be loads. There's the nutritionals. So you got your energy is 505 calories. Fat is 29 grams from the per 100 so that's 29 grams so that's 505 calories per 100 grams fat is 29 grams carbohydrates is 52 which sugars is 2.8 fiber is 4.4 protein is 6.6 .6, and salt is 0 0.65 of one gram Right, what did I pay for? And then you've got 140 grams here, which is a bit unusual. Is this shrinkflation happening before our eyes now? These bags are normally 150 grams. Come on, walkers. Why are they now dropping them to 140? Is this what we're now starting to see? They just keep going down and down and down. Not good. Just, put, just be honest and say, look, we want to keep giving you 150 grams, but the cost of, you know, food and that, we've got, to, we've got to put the price up. Not just keep lowering the amount they're giving us and keeping the price the same. We're just creeping it up slightly so we don't moan too much. It's not on. But this shrinkflation thing has got to stop because it's getting to a point now where we're literally... At Christmas, we'll be opening a tiny little tin of quality, quality streets, won't we? Ridiculous. Anyway, I need to stop ranting and get on with this. Price. What did I pay? Where are they? I can't see them. Right, right at the bottom. £1.75 from Tesco's with a club card. Right, let's taste them. Well, sorry, I haven't tasted them yet, even though we had them out earlier this morning to cook some with cheese on. So there's your... They're not as thick as I was hoping they were going to be. I was hoping they were going to be like McCoy, 
size, but they're not. I think I'm gonna have to um, cheese fest some McCoy crisps, I think. Bit of heat coming, tingling on my tongue. Nothing major. I mean, I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to hot stuff. I mean, what is the... You got chilli powder, paprika powder, onion powder. Nothing major going on. I mean, somebody who, who like eating hot curries, they probably, they probably wouldn't even taste it. But to be honest, I, w I don't like anything hotter than this. I really don't see the point of eating it. Right, they're quite nice. Let's give them a score. They aren't too bad. Um, got to give them an 8.4. 8.4, which will not get them up on the board, but there we are, there's the leaderboard. There go boo boos now getting in the sun again. 8.4. Right, so that's that. Let's see. The old tongue is tingling a bit now though, to be honest. Now, put these in the oven this morning. I didn't put too much cheese on them because if you've seen the previous cheese fest attempts on Chris, I put a fair bit of cheese on and the fat got into the crisp and it softened some of, some, of them, some of them up. And I found the ones with less cheese on, the crisp sort of stayed crispier, crunchier. So I put thinner cheese on these. Problem was, put them in the oven, got uh, distracted and they were in there too long. And some of these are a little bit burnt. <laughs> at the bottom a little bit burnt but anyway let's try it so let's try this one oh yeah that's way better oh. mm. You know, sometimes the best inventions occur from mistakes. So an experiment might have gone wrong, but during it going wrong, something else was discovered and something else, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but no doubt loads of medical discoveries have happened that way. I actually think this could be a similar thing, whereas... I didn't mean to cook them this long, but burnt toasted cheese has just got an amazing flavour. I love it. A little bit too far, that one. That one's just a little bit too burnt. Let's try that one. But you can hear, I'm, I'm not going to edit the crunchy out. I'm going to leave the crunchy noises in. These are crunchy. That one's a little bit chewy. Where the cheese is. The crunch in your hair and is the outer. Mm. Oh, look at this one. Now this one... I reckon is the perfect one. This is the perfect. Just maybe if you could avoid singeing the edges, 
but getting the cheese that toasty color right i reckon this has got to be the perfect crisp cheese festive crisp it's going to be crunchy and the cheese is going to have that toasted flavor just awesome wow that was that was the perfect one this could be another one right okay i reckon mccoy's will be even better that's another one there right guys this this is good i'm really loving this has anyone else ever cheese fested like crisp crisps not tortillas done it like that let them cool down are you ever do you like your cheese like that crisp that sort of toasted up well it's gone sort of too far you think it's gone too far but just bring another flavor out in the cheese it's really nice i absolutely love it right guys there we go that is another nighttime nibbles food review thanks for watching and i hope you'll join me again soon on another video take care guys oh, i'm definitely gonna wind into these lovely old jubbly try it out let me know how you get on in the comments cheers guys oh lovely